just love our team. Um, I think we've got a great enthusiasm and a great competitiveness amongst our group. Um, guys are really stepping in, learning the offense. Our uh, well, offense has a lot of different layers in it. We're doing a great job with that. Uh, but more importantly, just our level of competitiveness is really special. Uh, it's really easy to be excited the first day, but you learn a lot about your team on day three and four, and, and that's where we are. And I can tell their enthusiasm today. They're ready and excited for the challenge. We had a summer. It was kind of like introductory, both for the players and coaches. Uh, but now that we've been getting into it, you know, getting into it this fall has been. Uh, it's been awesome. It's been very productive, very you know busy, um, and we're all making a lot of great strides. We're just excited to start playing games. Freshman George Jarvich had a great few days um, early on in practice, the ability to pass the ball. I really felt like looking at the roster with the departure we had a year ago, we needed a guy that could really facilitate the offense. And I think we got fortunate with him, with him being available really late. And he's come in and really understood the offense, done a great job. Braden Bear, uh, the transfer from Syracuse, has done a great job filling in a lot of different roles for us. That he can play the one, two, or three. His first two is going to be important for us. Uh, Sammy Friday, uh, you know, he's a guy who's, who's down about 30 pounds from a year ago. But more, more importantly than that, his mood is in an unbelievable place. You know, he's a funny guy. He's got great energy. And, you know, we're going to play a lot of guys. And so, you know, it's a lot of guys that are stepping into new roles. Um, but they do so with great enthusiasm. Special things can happen. Honestly, just impressed from the start. Um, some of the guys coming in, you know, you hear that we're getting some of these recruits and some of these guys that come in, you haven't seen them play. Uh, in person. You know, you can watch the videos online and that only shows you so much of their game. But when they got on campus, um, we were impressed not only with the level of skill that they had and the level of play that they were able to come in with, but just how quick they were adapt, able to adapt to the new changes and to the new offense. And so everything that we're doing, they've just come in and all of them have fit, fit right in there. Nine or ten. I mean, anyone that can help us win the game, I want to have an opportunity to play. And that's really important for everyone here to understand. It keeps practices really competitive. Guys have a ton of fun with it. They know that their role is important. And so my job is to try to play as many guys as we can. That's going to help us get to the And if a guy at the top of the rotation has to play less minutes, my job is to try to convince him that's best for our team. And we'll do that. We've got a great group of guys here that understand that's the biggest strength we have is our depth. And so we're going to play them. What we like, I mean, it's a lot of different looks for a lot of different guys. We're putting in a whole bunch of different plays that will get guys open into different positions. And we're all just excited because he's a very offensive minded coach. And he's been been very vocal about telling us of, you know, hey, I like the way you do this. I'm going to fit you in here in the game, and you're going to be able to do that for us. And it's just exciting for all. That's huge a mindset. I mean, we want to create a way of life for our guys, you know, the way we live our life every day, the way we walk to class, our attendance in class, and try to be trying to be great at everything that we do. And so, you know, it, it, it starts out as a, as a style of play, as I mentioned, you understand, but really it has to become a way of life. You know, in order to be out here and play as hard as we're going to need to play, we have to condition our minds and our bodies in a certain direction. And we have guys that are able to do that, and it gets really special. You know, we've, we've had, you know, little team meetings um, and talks not only about, you know, what we're going to do on the court, but just about our own individual development and leadership as, as human beings, not just basketball players. And we've gone over, um, you know, a bunch of different stuff. He's brought in guys who have talked to us about mindfulness training, just how we should go about our day, and how we, you know, we should take on our daily life and tackle classes and tackle stresses and tackle basketball. And, I think all of that just um, kind of has come together and it's just helped us a lot on the yes. um, Coaches are hands on here. Um, they encourage us every day, talk about positive energy and things like that. So um, all of our confidence has been great for me. Um, I just love the challenges every day that are presented to me here and just being pushed to my limit each and every workout, you know, with my new brothers. So I'm looking forward to it. A ton of threes here. I think 11 out of my 13 years coaching uh, teams I've been involved with have been one or two in the in three-point attempts, so we're going to shoot a ton of threes. That obviously fits his skill set the best. Um, he's an outstanding three-point shooter. I think in the prep circuit, he's probably one of the best stretch fours ever there. So we're really fortunate that the guy lived about three miles away from campus and really had a passion for Siena. And uh, you know, I expect him to have a great career. And, uh, we just got to get him healthy and back. And when he gets back, I mean, he's going to watch a lot of threes. And he's going to have the opportunity to do that and play with some freedom. Um, that's one thing that Coach Christian has hard time is that you know, everybody gets tired, but the good teams don't use it as an excuse. And so that's one thing that he's definitely brought in as a conditioning. And I give credit to Ian Carroll. Coach Christian kind of came in and gave him a lot of the reins in terms of our lifting and our, you know, off-court workouts. And he's done a great job with all of us. Summer was a lot of conditioning, a lot of weight lifting. Um, I don't think we even touched the basketball the first time we got here. So it was a big transformation for I'm still developing in it. Um, you know, I'm not near my ceiling, so I still have things I gotta improve on, but I just, you know, bring my lunch pail and show to work every day, so that's really all I can do at this point. I think just the amount of time we spend, uh, both on and off the court, um, Coach Christian is not only a very good basketball coach and good at developing, you know, our offense and our defense type thing, but he's also great about developing a whole new culture and uh, forming our, you know, strong relationships that go on and off the court. So we've all um, have had a great process just getting to know him and being able to play.